All right, I want to welcome you guys back to another video. Um, we're going to do a quick tutorial this time on actually taking a piece of clip art from Google or Yahoo or the internet or wherever you want to find it from. Um, this is not a vectored image. It's going to be a JPEG image um, or a PNG or something of that nature. We're going to show you how to bring it into Adobe, uh, image trace it, um, and then put a bleed around it with an outline and put cut contour lines around it. So let's get started. All right, so I just typed in the word clip art, um, and then I'm going to just grab this little turkey right here. Um, and then I'm going to right click and copy this image. I'm going to bring it over into Adobe. And then we are going to paste this. Um, you can use the keyboard keys as well. I'm just using the uh, drop downs and everything so you guys can see what's going on. So as we see, we bring this in and there is no way to put con cut contour lines around this image um, because it's not broken down. You can't click on it. You can't do anything with it. So for starters, if your image is big enough, um, and the, the detail is good enough, you can do an image trace. Um, I'm going to give you guys a little secret here that I have found that works out really well. So when you're looking for clip arts or you're looking for some sort of an image that you want to be able to use in Adobe, um, and a lot of times you get small pixelated images. So what I will actually do when I start searching is I'll come over here to this filter as you can see right here and then I will click on image size and click extra large and um, a lot of times you can see how big some of these are and the bigger they are the better they're going to come over into Adobe um, sometimes you can get some really really small ones um, but that's just a little tip that I've learned along the way that really seems to help um, as you can see like we brought this image over and it seriously came in at 82 inches wide by 111 inches tall which is enormous but you're gonna see the quality of that and how that's gonna benefit us as soon as we go up here to our image trace so you highlight the image that you're wanting uh, you come up here to image trace and it's got a lot of different options um, on what to do um, a lot of times my favorite options in here are the three color, six color, or 16 color, or the silhouette. Um, the silhouette works really well sometimes uh, when some of the others won't. Um, but with this one, since it's got a ton of colors in it, we're just going to go ahead and max this out at 16 colors. So we click on image trace 16. It will says it's going to take it a little while. Um, and then it's going to go ahead and image trace that. Uh, I've got some stuff running in the background here that I probably shouldn't. So it's going to take it just a few seconds longer. But the result, I think, is going to be very good. Okay. So as you can see, now we have our image here. Um, it is not a, it's, it is a vector, but we, all, we need to come up here and click on expand up here on the top. And when we click on expand, what you will see then, as soon as it expands, like I said, I've got, uh, got something downloading in the background here, trying to download something and then just do this video to kill two birds with one stone. So it's slowing the system down just a little bit here. So now you can see it has separated all of these colors. And that's exactly what we want. And the detail on it is pretty good. You can see a little curvage up there. But overall, I think it's a pretty good image. So now we take this image. Um, and again, just using the, um, the drop downs here so that it kind of makes it easier for you guys to see. So we're going to ungroup this first. And when we ungroup it, we can then get rid of the black background. And then we are left with just our turkey. So we're going to go ahead and shrink this guy down just a little bit so we can work with him here. Um, I'm not a fan of working on the white box for some reason. Um, so I always bring it over here to the gray. So 
Now we have our turkey. The cool thing about this is now we just took this image off the internet. And now we can change the colors of things if we want. Um, we can really dig in and, and really start to change this and manipulate this. Uh, we can even delete things off of this and things like that. Now you will notice once you image trace things, things aren't filled in behind. You're left with, you know, just a, a dead space. But... We took this JPEG right off the internet, and now it is a complete vector. So no matter how big or how small we want to do this, it doesn't get all pixelated. So now the part comes, all right, so now I have this image. How do I get this image so that I can turn it into a sticker or a t-shirt? Um, the same goes for either or, if you're wanting to do this in a t-shirt or if you're wanting to do this in a sticker. I go about the process the exact same. So with this, I will highlight the whole thing. And then I will group it together. Um, I already grouped it together on the keyboard. Sorry about that. But anyways, just group it together. You can either come up here to Object, Group, or you can just hit Control J. So now we've got it all grouped together. It can't go anywhere. This is the biggest question I have is, okay, well, that's great, but how do I get cut lines around just the outside of this? Because if we look and we put cut lines here, we'll make this big so it can exaggerate here. But, wow, you see all those cut lines, and nobody wants that because that's not going to create a very good sticker. Um, each piece is going to be separate, and that's just going to be a nightmare. So what I do from here, again, in most of my videos, I tell you guys, this might not be the correct way. It might not be the way that other people do it, and that's fine. These are just the fastest and easiest and simplest ways for me, because this is how I self-taught myself to do this. So I just want to show you guys how I do it. So I highlight the whole entire thing, and then I will right-click. Sorry, I lied. So I'm going to highlight the whole thing. I'm going to hit Control C to make a copy. And then I'm going to hit Control B. And what that's going to do is that's going to make a copy right on top of it. And that was Control C. And that makes the copy. And then Control B basically pastes your copy right on top of what you're working on. Now this is something that I have learned that speeds up this process so much faster um, and like I said, I don't know if it's the right way or not, but man, it sure works and it speeds things up. So now I've got my image right here. I click on it. I come up here to Pathfinder. And right before I do anything there, I come over to Object. And I flatten the transparency. And I turn, can, I turn all of these on just because I use them for different things all the time. Um, but I turn all four on. And then you click OK. So now we've basically got a flattened image. Then I'll come over here and I click on Unite. And when we unite it, you can see that it changes it all to the exact same color. So it takes away all of our color and makes it all black. But we can see these little lines in here. And if we go up and we try to put a cut contour on it now, you can see it's actually going to try to cut all of these little things. So we want to take that back away. So now with our image, what we want to do now is we want to come down here and we want to merge this image and then go back and unite it again. And when we unite it again, we can see that all of those marks go away. So now we are just stuck with an outline of the image that we actually have. Now from here... If you were just to put the cut contour lines around it, the problem you're going to run into is, if we send this to the back real quick here, you're going to see that the outline is definitely right there. But if your printer is off or your cutter is off any, then what's going to happen is it's going to show white around this. Um, so when I'm doing stickers or a t-shirt or anything like that, I always put a bleed or a complete outline of a solid color. So like with this turkey, if we wanted to do black, that would be fine. So then what I would do is I would come up here to my stroke. 
I would make my stroke black and I would make the stroke let's let's send it to the back and it'll give us a better idea so we can see here so I'm gonna take the stroke up to where I think it would look good as a sticker and that would be right around there for me um, so it gives you just a little bit of a black outline but now the problem is we can't put the cut contour stroke on here because if we do that and we lower it all the way down to the 0.25 what you're going to run into sometimes if you're off is on this side say it's up into the black but then over on this side it's going to be down into the actual pinkish color of the feather brownish whatever that color is there it's a pinkish brown so that's not going to work for us so we'll get rid of that and we're going to take you back and i'm going to show you the steps on how to get rid of that so here we have our image and here we have a five stroke outline around this image so we are going to get rid of our cut contour lines but we're going to keep the 10 point outline stroke whatever you want to call it we have on this so now we take this image come up to object again flatten transparency now the key here is you must click unite first again because as soon as you click unite it gets rid of that whole stroke and it now makes your image the bigger part of that image if you come over here and you click merge first sometimes it will take that outline away so I always do the unite merge unite um, sometimes you don't have to hit all three of them but once you get into habits of doing it it just that's just how I keep doing it for some reason and I always tell myself I don't but so now what we have is this solid black that we can send to the back and you can see that now we have this black outline all the way around our turkey. And if you're can, if you're uh, if you're happy with how thick it was, that's great because now we can take this image. We come up here to our appearance. We add a stroke of black. Let's go up to let's say five on the black. Um, Sorry, I gotta make it the same color. It drives me nuts when the system does that. So now we take that up to a five. Now we can come in and we can do our cut contour and lower that down to 0.25. And now you can see we have our cut contour, but we also have a black bleed on the outside of it. So now we highlight our black again and we send it to the back. And once we send it to the back, we can go in here and we can look. And now we've got a black outline all the way around our turkey. Now we have our cut line here. And we have black bleed beyond our cut lines. This turkey is now ready to be sent over to the cutter or to the printer. And then if you're printing it as a sticker, print it, laminate it, cut it, uh, print it, cut it, whatever it is that you want to do. But that is how you add a cut contour line to a JPEG image. Uh, that's how you get a JPEG image to vector. And that's the easiest and quickest way that I have ever found to do this. Um, it works on a lot of different images. The key is to get one big enough to image trace. Uh, I'm going to do another video and show you how to do one without actually image tracing. Um, the picture, if it's a picture that you cannot image trace, but you still want to use it for stickers, um, I'm going to show you how to do that in one of my other videos, so feel free to check that out. Um, again, as always, if you have any questions on any of the steps that we did in this video, uh, please just leave them in the comments, and we will do our best to get back to you as quickly as we can. Thank you, and have a great day.